What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, Leo, um, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading um, for the sign of Leo for mid June of 2022. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, and Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for a sign of Leo. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,030 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash. No demo. Thanks, everybody, for all the recent no do donations. I just want to say that real quick. Thanks, everybody, for all the recent donations. You guys are just a bomb. Diggity.com. You really are. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. For the bottom of my heart, chakra, spirit messages you have for sign of Leo. This is for mid June of 2022, but it's June 7th of 2022 right now. So I wanted to get them out as early as possible because some of, a lot of my channelings have been futuristic um, recently. So I wanted to get them out before they resonated um, if, if they apply for you. Um, of course, you know, use your best discernment. And only plug in the messages that resonate, leave the rest, okay? This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects to your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter. I encourage everyone to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, at least their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs. Um, for a message or messages, there may be something in there for you, possibly, in your um, Moon, Rising, North Node, possibly. We've got Crow and Octopus. Oh, I did receive a channel message as I was meditating on your energy for mid June 2022. I heard um, for some, one karmic is going to try to come back. For some, two and two plus karmics are going to try to come back soon. Soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Leo. So um, for some of you guys, it's one karmic going to try to come back. I'm assuming into your life, obviously. A reconnection, reconciliation energy. For some it's one, for some it's two, for some it's two plus. So anybody doesn't know, a karmic is someone that basically, it can be anybody, any freaking body. But basically, a karmic is anybody that tries to stop growth uh, for you, anything positive for you. Whether it's love, true love, twin flame -esque type connections, love, money, career options, growth, um, Positive manifestation, manifestation of positive connections. I mean, anything positive in one's life, a karmic's goal basically is to stop it out because they don't want anything good for you. So for some of you guys, it's one one karmic trying to come back. No, like I said, a karmic can be anybody. It can be a former co-worker, a uh, former lover, current lover, a neighbor, former neighbor, somebody you grew up with, a um, person of your past. Any freaking body, any body, okay? So you have to plug these people in however they resonate, what they do resonate for you. For some, you can be dealing with an air sign and a water sign. If you are, they can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Behavior, Jupiter charts. If you are Leo, you have Crow, Octopus, Lantern, and Thief. Number 24 could be a very significant number in your life as well, possibly. Number 24. And if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly and word of mouth. It helps a single mama of two kids and her, one of her income streams. Just saying, just saying, just saying. The greatest setup of all time is about to really, 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 really backfire. Biggest backfire of all time. Okay, whoa, that's strong. So the greatest setup of all time, I heard, is about to become the biggest backfire of all time. Holy shit, that's some strong energy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. The uh, greatest setup of all time. So this could, energies can be reversed. So you are, are you high vibrational or low vibrational? Do you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, integrity, ethics, or do you not? Okay, so Energies can be reversed. So you either set up person, people, place, family, your situation. So you are either the greatest, a part of the greatest setup of all time in a negative aspect. Or somebody tried to set you up 
and it's about to be the biggest backfire of all time on them. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's um, if you're on the positive aspect with the backfiring energy, that's really beautiful energy. I'll tell you that. Spirit messages you have for sign of you. Okay. Spirit message you share some leave, okay? Through many series of chain events, there will be a lawsuit. One you're going to place it on your family member once you learn very important information. Okay, I heard through many series of chain of events. For one, you're going to place a lawsuit. I heard on your one on your family member after you learn specific information. So you plug it in how it resonates. We have ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. Heals obstacles to overcome. Thief, lantern, crow, octopus. A karmic water sign, younger feminine energy, is about to really regret betraying you. Recent betrayal within the last three months. She is about to get her karma in a very huge way. Know this. Karmic sister. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So one of you guys has a lot of karmics, um, which, you know, hate is going to hate. Hate is going to hate. So some of us have a ton of shit ton of karmics out there. Some don't. It really all depends on who you are and how threatening you are to people, basically. Um, but at least one of you guys, you have, you have a karmic, you have a karmic, and they have a sister. And I heard it's a younger water sign sister. So you, Leo, have a karmic, and they have a karmic sister. And their karmic sister is a younger water sign femme. So a 35 or below Cancer Pisces Scorpio feminine energy. I heard she's betrayed you within the last three months. So she's done something like backside betrayed, like did something hugely horrible to you behind the scenes, obviously, to you within the last three months. And that could be the octopus energy. I heard it's about to seriously, karma's about to bang, boom, ring back on her energetically. So something is about to happen to her in the universe negatively. Now, obviously, I don't think you have anything to do with this, um, but, um, you know, it's universal karma, so it doesn't matter. Um, well, it does matter. It does matter. Don't go around harming people. Disclaimer, don't go around harming people. But um, but what I'm saying is it's about to energetically boomerang back on her. Uh, now, I didn't hear how it's going to, but it's something negative, very negative is about to happen to her. However that resonates, she's a younger Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme karmic sister of your karmic so you got double deuce of karmic in that family that's just the damn truth i would stay away from that family yikes um you plug it in how it resonates yeah she could be a thief you it looks like you're around a karma uh, family of karmic thieves i'll tell you that for damn sure or at least one of you crow A Leo has been really seeing pro confirmations a lot in the universe. And for one Leo, your karmic has been inundated with pro confirmations. They think it's a death warning. Oh my lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. So for one, you've been seeing a lot of pro confirmations out in the universe. You have. Uh, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, you've been seeing a lot of pros. I think physical pros out in 3D. 
um, and it's been giving you confirmation. Um, hopefully not envisionments of your death. Um, but how, what, however, they're conf confirming something for you, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because I heard it's giving you a lot of confirmation. That's for one of you guys, Leo. The other one, your karmic. So one, I think one of these karmics, maybe this karmic or the karmic's younger sister or some other karmic, um, are they been inundated seeing crows, crow confirmations out the 3D universe? And they think it's death confirmations coming for them. So, oh dear God. So they are seeing crow confirmations. Your karmic, is seeing, karmic or karmics are seeing crow confirmations and they basically think it's, some kind of dead, I think they think it's dead spell energy. Um, maybe for some they practice dark arts and um, they think the dark arts is uh, death spells are about to boom right back. I didn't hear it was, but maybe for some. Um, because crows are indicative of premonitions, they're indicative of premonitions and prophecies. Um, and I heard one of these karmics thinks it's envisionments of their death, so I think they think de their death is near. Um, and like I said, crows are indicative of prophecies, prophetic things coming true, like these spiritual downloads or prophecies, basically, uh, from the universe. So you plug it in how it resonates, but crows are very symbolic of prophetic um, prophecies. And that's just the truth. Woo, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, then octopus. There's a very flighty water sign energy in your energetic field. Very flighty. You need to use your best discernment here. Heavy water sign energy, I just want to say. You've got the younger karmic that betrayed you within the last three months, sister of the karmic, and a flighty, uh, flighty water sign karmic. Um, Why well, didn't hear they were karmic, just a flighty water sign. Um, I heard you use your best discernment. So it's a flighty water sign energy. Um, I didn't hear karmic. So you... I heard use your best discernment. So they're coming off as octopus energy. Um, for some, they could be um, energy vampires or energy succubuses or um, some kind of sucker, um, sucker, sucker energy I'm feeling with the tentacles and the octopusy type energy here, um, possibly um, or not. But um, However that resonates, they're very flighty, I'll tell you that. They're very, very, very flighty, and that could be the crow energy, um, getting up and going, getting up and going, can't decide, can't decide, can't decide, can't decide, um, you know, with the air sign energy, up and go, up and go, up and go, up and go, um, how that resonates. Let me go turn the air on real quick, you guys. I am so burning up, man. My armpits are on fire. Hold on a second. Okay, so sorry. Okay. For one Leo, you will form a bond, a strong bond with the water sign, younger water sign, soon. You already have a connection with this person, but it, there is really no denying the connection there. You will form a strong bond with this person. It will not happen quickly. It will happen over time. 
know this. Okay, so strong water sign energy in here. I mean, man, we're overflowing in the ocean up in here. I mean, a lot of water sign energy. Okay, so whoever this water sign is, you already have a connection with them, a positive connection. So it's not karmic, these karmic energies. It's not, and it's, I don't feel it's the flighty water sign of uh, octopus energy. I think it's somebody else. Um, I feel that high vibrational. I didn't hear they all were, but I feel they are. Um, I heard you have a very positive copacetic bond with them now. So there's nothing negative there. Um, it sounds like y'all get along well and you both treat each other with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, ethics, and values, which is always good. Um, but I heard um, the bond is going to deepen and get stronger, but it will over time. It will over time. So it's not going to be very quick, which connections true connections whether it's platonic or romantic usually take some time so it sounds like it's about to be formed the right way is what i'm trying to say i feel whoever this is for um whether it's platonic or romantic i feel it's going to take time to develop because i heard it's going to take time to develop so a lot of communication there a lot of um i'm feel i'm feeling a lot of communication a lot of um a lot of communication and probably a lot of um not only communication but physical 3d interaction with each other um probably not right now for some for some it could have already happened with the 3d interaction right now but for some maybe down the line it really all depends on what timeline you're on and how long you've been communicating with this person if that makes sense okay lantern Someone you're about to never, would have never expected is about to report a fraud. Some they have frauded you. Some they have frauded someone you care about. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So if this resonates with you, I heard someone you um, would have never expected to do this. So whoever this person is and how they resonate, it could be an air sign, that could be a water sign, that could be any sign. I heard they're about to... Um, report a frauder for some of you guys some of you leos they have frauded you for some they have frauded somebody you care about so they're basically about to illuminate the truth with the lantern energy they're about to illuminate the truth of the frauder um whoever this person is i've been pulling in a water sign fraud and very strong in my reading so for some i feel it might be a water sign fraud for some it can be any other sign but they're about to illuminate the truth, baby, on this frauding. For some, they frauded you. For some, it's somebody you care about. Illumination of the truth with the lantern energy. And a very fun trip. Nighttime trip. In a city soon with another person is about to be very significant in a Leo's life. Wow, I heard a very fun trip, nighttime trip, um, in a city soon with another person. It's about to become very significant. Leo, ooh la la, my dear, just saying, just saying. Um, so, it might be a city that has lanterns, is what I'm feeling, because um, we have lantern energy. might be as a city that has lanterns. Um, it's going to be a nighttime trip, I heard. Um, maybe some truth is going to get exposed um, on this trip. Um, just saying, just saying. I just heard lighter too, lighter. So lighter. So um, maybe you own a lighter, or they own a lighter, or you're gonna have to use a lighter for something. Um, however that resonates. Seaweed, deodorant, spaghetti and meatballs, seaweed, deodorant, spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So seaweed might be significant, deodorant and um, spaghetti and meatballs. 
maybe one of you guys like spaghetti and meatballs that somebody you're connected to, or maybe you need, maybe you smell like B.O. or somebody else does. Maybe you need a, you know, maybe you're going to purchase somebody some deodorant or somebody's going to purchase you some or, um, or something like that <laughs> and seaweed. So, um, maybe you're going to, maybe you like seaweed or this person likes seaweed or somebody likes seaweed or, oh, that resonates. I don't know. Beef. A particular Leo has basically been robbed, robbed clean the last few years. But through many series of chain of events, it's about to be balanced out in the universe. These people are about to have to give back what they took. Serious, serious thieves. Some will, will face jail time. Some will end up in prison. Whoa! So you plug it in how it resonates. That's serious shit right there. So, um, so one of you guys, I heard you've been robbed clean the last few years. So somebody just basically just thought they could just take whatever the hell they wanted to take yours and just get, get the hell away with it. Um, oh yeah, sure. It's Leo's. Let me just take it for my own self. Well, that's not the way the world works. Um, and I don't think they would appreciate it if you, Leo, took their shit. And that's just the damn truth. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure I... Nobody would appreciate that shit, so I'm sure they wouldn't. I heard through many series of chain events, the scales are basically going to be balanced. So Libra and S-type energy with the Sag energy. Um, and the people are going to have to repay back what they took from you. And it sounds like it's several people in some of these situations. Um, some of these people I heard are going to end up in jail. Some they're going to end up in prison. So prison down the line, probably jailed in prison. Um and I think this is the information about these shown on the Thiever Thieves is what I'm feeling here. These people are about to seriously regret it in a huge way. These people are about to seriously regret it in a huge way. So these people are about to seriously regret stealing from you in a huge way. And they're about to seriously regret not telling you the truth. And they're about to seriously regret not telling you the truth. So they're about to seriously regret stealing from you. One, they stole from your ass, and two, they didn't even tell you the truth. So for some, you've been around them in 3D, either currently in the energetic space or in the recent past or past. So they were around your ass, but didn't even have the balls to tell you they stole from you. Like, what kind of measure of a person is that? That's not. That's not a measure of a damn person. That's like no integrity, morals, values, or ethics. And that's just the damn truth. They do deserve to be behind damn bars, and that's the truth. Um, I heard through many series of chain events about to happen whether they want it to or not nobody likes to go to jail or prison but nobody likes to be stole from either and that's the truth a Taurus is about to really help with this know this and a Capricorn and a Cancer a Taurus a Capricorn and a Cancer is about to really really help with this is what I heard so you've got some kind of Taurus cancer and capricorn energy about to really help you i think reveal the information on the thief or thieves um if this resonates for you they could have taurus capricorn or cancer and they're sun moon rising venus or them in here jupiter charts if that resonates for you um leo that's that's beautiful that really is at least um i'm assuming this taurus capricorn and cancer are high vibrational so they treat people with honesty trust respect morals integrity and values and they're about to really help Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, high vibrational individuals. And I want to say the one you're going to build a connection with over time, whether it's platonic, romantic, and I, I feel they're high vibrational too, that water sign. I do. Um, I just think that's going to take some time. Um, and for some, I feel that could be the person you're about to go on the trip with, the nighttime trip. I feel it's out of, I think it's distance, like a city outside of your current town, province, city, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just want to add that to you. Ring, a marriage will take place either romantic or business. Someone really wants to marry you. But use your best discernment because one of these people is a thief. 
stole from you. They want to do it for strategic reasons. One, they're not a thief. They did not steal from you. Not physical money. The other one has true intentions. And they will be honest with you soon. But they know it's going to take a time to build build the relationship. Okay, so you plug it in, how resonate. So you've got two people wanting to marry you, Leo. Holy shit. <laughs> Um, one that has stolen physical money from you, and I feel it's one of these people, and I think it's a shit ton of money, because whoever you got, um, got stole from, you got stole from huge, and it was over the course of years, so, like, they just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. Oh, sure, that's Leo's, let me take it. Oh, sure, that's Leo's, let me take it. What the fuck, man? Leave people the fuck alone. Yeah, I should have been behind prison bars a long time ago. That's the truth. Um... But so one, they stole from you, and basically they want to cover their ass. And that's why they want to marry you. But leave people the fuck alone, basically. Hashtag live free if that asshole needs to hear this. And I'm just being for real. Fever, go to prison. Don't go try to marry somebody. Just saying. That's for you. The other one, I heard, um, I would never agree to that shit. Never. I'd rather live. Hashtag live poor than that fucking shit, and that's the damn truth. That's some shiesty ass motherfucking shit. You go eat your fucking caviar by your goddamn self, or you go pay for some sex. But you ain't sure I ain't getting it from me. That's the damn truth. Hashtag real talk. That's sickening. But the other person, I heard they, the, um, they didn't steal money from you. I heard they, uh, what was it? Um, ener was it energy or time? energy or time or something like that but um but i heard they really regret it and they're going to tell you the truth soon and they know it's going to take um time time to build a relationship um so they have regrets of the past and i this person didn't steal physical money like this asshole up here did um and these can be masculine feminines leo but the one down here did not steal I don't feel physical money, but they will be honest with you soon about the truth. It doesn't, uh, a truth about the past. They haven't done it yet, but I heard they will soon. Um, but it's because they truly want to build something with you, but I heard they know it's going to take a course of a time to do it. And honestly, the best relationships, whether it's platonic or return romantic or those, that, those kind of relationships, like best friend S type relationships, like a ride or die, you can trust this person with, with your life, basically. Um, and your heart and your soul and your whole being. If you can't do that with somebody, they don't deserve you. And whoever this asshole is, you can't trust them with a freaking mop. Much less your heart, your soul, and everything in you because they basically fucking took everything from, taking everything from you. They want to. It sounds like they want to control you and money. Well, you know what, sir or ma'am, you go out with all that fucking money you stole. You fucking crook. Don't mean money can't be um, built up, and that's the damn truth. If anybody's got any smarts in the fucking head. And whoever you are, Leo, I think you've got smarts in your head. You've got smarts in your head, and I think you've been beat down and beat down and beat down and beat down, and hopefully to God you don't take this person back. And I'm just being for real. I truly hope you don't, because they don't deserve you. They do not fucking deserve you. Now, this person, this sounds like a true, genuine person. Of course, please use your best discernment, logic, reasoning, and judgment. You can take this asshole back if you want. I sure as hell wouldn't. But this person, it, they, they seem different. Their energy seems different, is what I'm saying. Um, I heard they're going to be honest with you soon. So they're going to put the effort in um, for communication about and honesty, which is building blocks here. Um, and I heard this person is looking for somebody serious long-term down the line. Um, I'm thinking possibly marriage there, too. Because this person wants to marry you to lock you in and control your ass with money. This person... It's not about money, or at least I don't think it's about money. Use your best discernment, logic, and reasoning. But at least they're going to be honest with you. It's much more than this ass white can say, and that's the damn truth. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted.
Someone that puts you in a nightmare is about to put themselves in a nightmare. They have marked themselves, know that. One of the thieves. Okay. Heard someone that put, your, put you in a nightmare. So they put you in a nightmare in the past. I think it's all this physical money stealing. For some, it could be time and energy they stole too. But I feel in physical big ass money here for a lot of you guys. Um, they put you in a nightmare in the past as they were stealing from you, either energy time or money. In the past, it sounds like you have fought free to get free of the nightmare um, or you're breaking free of the nightmare, however that resonates. But I heard the energy is about to shift and now they're about to experience a nightmare. I heard they're marked, so targeted. Not targeted, but marked. Meaning, now for some they could be targeted. I don't know. I didn't hear targeted, but I did hear marked. Marked. But it sounds like they marked themselves. Meaning they have put a mark upon themselves and people know what they have done to you, basically. And it's this person up here. I feel that wants to marry you. Or one of these many thievers that are basically about to go to jail or prison because they don't have kahunas to be fucking honest with you. You know? Um, how that resonates? But they marked themselves. So in the past, they had you in a nightmare, but soon they're about to be in a nightmare because they marked themselves because I think their family, their community members, Everybody and their mama knows they stole from you. And for some, I think that's why they're about to end up in jail and then prison down the line. Because people know. And I think they're about to create a series of shame events to put them there. Who likes a thief? Who can trust a thief? Nobody. Nobody can trust a damn thief. And that's just the damn truth. If they're going to steal from you, they're going to they're gonna keep doing it. It's like a compulsion for some people. It's like a fucking compulsion. And that's the truth. They, it's this fantasy a, adrenaline rush in their head. Oh, I got away with it. Oh, I got away with it. Oh, I got away with it. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. I'd rather live by my damn self. The rest of my damn days, I have to deal with somebody like that. And that's the damn truth. So their wish is not going to be granted. Manifesting you in is what I'm feeling. Um, or continue putting you in a nightmare. I think these people were totally okay putting you in a nightmare in the past because they were getting what they wanted. But now the energy has already shifted or it's about to shift. How that resonates. So their wish ain't going to be granted because they're about to live in a nightmare. Because they have marked their own self. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with these situations. These people are about not to be happy. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with these situations. These people are about not to be happy. So their wish is not going to be granted because they're about to be marked. But in all fairness, Leo, they did it to the damn self. And that's just the truth. Obstacles overcome. For some, there's many home repairs you want to do. But you don't have the funds to do it right now. But just hold tight. For some, keep working hard. And some, hold tight. Because for some, several shocking series of chain events are about to occur to where you will have the funds. Very money conscious individual. Okay. Well, that's a good one. So, if this resonates for you, I feel you own a home. I don't feel you rent. Um, because if you rented, why would you want to renovate something that you're not paying money on that somebody else owns basically i mean for some i guess you could rent but i if i rented i sure as hell wouldn't be doing no home repairs on some on somebody else's shit that they own and that's the damn truth but you know that's just me but if that resonates for you i do feel you own for a majority of you guys you own your property or you're paying mortgage or maybe for some you paid it off you plug it in how it resonates but however it resonates you want to do home repairs and that's another reason why I don't think it's renting. Because if it's renting, you can call your landlord and say, ring, 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 ring. My dishwasher's broken. Ring, 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 ring. My sink's stocked up. You don't have to hire a road to come out like I did two weeks ago. You see what I'm saying? So I don't feel it's renting is what I'm saying. I feel you own or you're paying a mortgage or you paid it off. It was, it was, it was. How that resonates. But you want to do home repairs, but you don't have the money. I heard you're money conscious. So meaning you're not going to go just spending your money just frivolously 
You're not a frivolous spender. You really watch what is in your account. You watch your bills. You watch how much you spend. You're very money conscious. I don't care if you have 10 million in the bank, 100 million in the bank, or $10 in the bank. I feel you're very money conscious, whoever you are. And that's just the damn truth. Now, some Leos spend like damn water. Like my older brother, he's always spending like damn water. And that's the damn truth. Um, the years I knew him, of course, I haven't known him for years. But when I did know him, spent like damn water. And he's a Leo too, my older brother is. But I'm a Leo too, a Leo son. And me and him in the money spending department, completely opposite. Spin, spin, spin like water he did. He did. I would save, save, save. It was always like that. So, and that's the damn truth. So you can't judge by zodiac signs is what I'm saying. Because I know Leos that fucking spent like water. That's the goddamn truth. But I never have been. I've been safe. Always have been. But however that resonates, you want to do home repairs. Whether you're a spender or a saver, I feel you're a saver. If that message applies for you. I feel you're a saver. You want to do home repairs. I heard for some, just keep working hard. And for some, hold tight. Because there's several shocking series of chain events. The money's coming to you. Now, I didn't hear specifically how the money's coming to you. But somehow it's going to. It could be a will, a settlement, inheritance, a payout, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It could be income you are, you are now in 3D. It could be from a business or businesses. You plug it in, how it resonates, okay? That could be the obstacles to overcome in this situation, in this aspect. It is the home repairs you want to do, I feel, on your property um, that you pay mortgage or you paid off. How that resonates. Um, and I didn't hear this, but I'm feeling like roof or... Um, new appliances like I recently got or maybe new flooring or um, maybe you need new siding or um, you need to get a new driveway, which I know my driveway, I really need a new driveway. Um, that's just example for me um, or things like that, you know, however that resonates, okay? Reinstatement coming soon. A water sign is about to have a lot to do with this. Reinstatement coming soon. A water sign is about to have a lot to do with this. So you plug it in, how it resonates, some kind of reinstatement energy. Um, I feel like reinstatement into a company, maybe so you can transfer toxic locations, maybe for some of you Leos. Um, or reinstatement. In the current company how that resonates i know for me i would never work at my current location ever a fucking day in my life ever again me personally and that's just damn true not in this city these toxic ass people but some kind of reinstatement in a company so i'm thinking going from a not hireable status to a hireable status so you can transfer out of your current toxic location or have the option to transfer out if you and that could be the obstacles to overcome too, because for some, I feel you've been wrongfully terminated. Um, and so you are a not current, not hireable status. And um, so you are blocked. You're blocked um, in the entire company. Like one location ruined it for the, like for you and the entire company, but they know exactly what they did too. Um, people do that for strategic reasons. And that's just the damn truth. Trust me, I've been wrongfully terminated four times in the universe. Four. Four companies in my city. All for strategic reasons. Because they want to block me and keep me stuck like some weird robot. Well, those people have some mental health issues is what they have. And that's just damn true. Uh, let me see if I hear anything else. An affair is about to be exposed soon. And a huge strike and protest, you will hear about this soon. An affair is about to be exposed soon. And for one of you guys, you're about to hear about a, a huge strike and protest soon. 
So I don't think you're going to be the one in the strike or the propet. Well, for some, you could be. You could be. Maybe some of you get communication saying, hey, we're about to do this strike. You want to join? Hey, we're about to do this protest. You want to join? So that could be how you hear about it. That's how I feel for some. For some, maybe you're far locations and you hear about it um, or you, you're not able to attend. But um, you're, some, you're about to hear about a strike and a protest. I feel for some, they're going to want you to join, possibly. Uh, for some, you might be disposed and have other plans, how that resonates. But how that resonates, you're about to hear about a strike or a protest, whether you join it or not. And for some, you're about to hear about an affair. So, hell, is what it is. People cheat all the damn time. I would like to be a co-host on Cheaters. And that's just the damn truth. Create my, create my own little cheater show around my community. My my community, my toxic community is so crazy. Hell, I'd like to do my own show for cheaters. And that's damn true. In the psychic realm. Just saying, just saying. All right. I love you guys so much. The ghost hunting is about to become very significant in Leo's life. With a younger water sign. About to have lots of fun. Oh my God, that sounds like so much freaking fun, man. Oh my God, I would love to do that. That's been on my bucket list for forever. Um, I heard ghost hunting is about to become very significant with the water sign. Heavy water, younger water sign energy in here. For some, it's karmic energies. For some, it's younger water sign energy. Some, it's water sign energy. A lot, you're drowning in the water, Leo. Just saying, just saying. Um, ghost hunting is about to become significant with a younger water sign. 35 or below masculine or feminine water sign. I heard it's about to be a lot of fun. I'm sure it will, man. That's on my bucket list for sure, for sure. All right. I love you guys so much. Namaste.